Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be working on my 2002 WS6. So let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to go from this to this. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is get the car up off the ground get the wheels and tires off. Now make sure you're supporting this correctly. If you don't know how to lift the F body correctly, check out my video, I'll list it up above, and that'll give you an idea of the proper way to lift and support it before you take the wheels off. But once the wheel's off, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this inner liner. Now this is held on with several of these seven millimeter um, bolts, and then you're gonna have to get in behind it's not held in here, but there is one on the bottom side. Just make sure that you go through and get each one of those out, and then we're going to take this liner completely out. Under the front side, there's two 10 millimeters as well, and then there are um, a threaded screw there, and then another one here. Kind of hard to see, but um, try to get closer. There you go. So we need to pop those out as well before the liner comes out. Once the liner's out, so you can see it's pretty dirty in there, we're gonna unhook the battery. So grab a wrench, eight millimeter, take the battery loose. Um, I'm gonna take just the negative cable off, and then we're gonna unplug all of these plugs on the top side. Okay, once we get these unplugged, you're gonna notice they're stuck inside the inner fender here. So on the bottom side, there's three pieces you can just push those and you'll be able to pull the rest of the plug loose. Now, there's one wire that we can unplug up here. That is a vacuum line. You can see the vacuum line here and a wheel speed sensor. So the vacuum line doesn't go too far. It just goes to the top side of this. So we need to unplug it. And then the wheel speed sensor actually goes down the inside inner fender here and it comes to right here. So we need to unhook here unplug it and we're going to fish it back up all the way to the top and so this is going to give us the ability to run all this stuff on the bottom side of this fender under the liner like it should have been to begin with instead of having this mess of wires up top so in order to do that we're also going to have to drill a hole right here and i'll show you that in the next step now that i've got all those plugs unplugged and i'm separated from the inner fender I went ahead and pulled the vacuum line loose, like I said, and the wheel speed sensor out. Everything I went ahead and pushed through. There's an opening right here on the side. So it is all down here, ready to run on the inside of that. So our next step is we need to drill a hole. Now the hole that we're gonna drill is right here, right in front of the where the computer tray um, bolts down. I went ahead and marked mine with an X there. And obviously you're gonna have to make a pretty substantial size hole. I'm going to make two holes beside each other with a stepped drill bit, but this is where we want to go through. We want to be able to not see um, as much as possible. So you could pull the computer tray out and drill underneath it and then drill a hole in it, but to me this is the easiest step to make this look nice. All right, now you can see that I drilled four holes with a step drill bit, and I'm going to take my Dremel and just make this a nice square. So go ahead and knock out uh, all the pieces in the middle and then make it, like I said, a square so uh, these plugs will go through. Now that the hole's cut, it's all smoothed out, I went ahead and vacuumed all the extra metal shavings out. We're just about ready to start threading these wires through. Now, this could eventually cut through some of these wires. Even though they're in loom, it's always a good idea to put something around it. It's a little too big to put a grommet, and of course it's not an exact circle. So I'm gonna use some um, trim that goes on the edge of doors. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of old people with it. They love that stuff, especially in chrome. I'm gonna use it in black though. So just gonna put a piece all the way around there just to keep it from chafing through and cutting it into the wire. Here's what we've got on this side now. You can see everything's ran through where I put the hole. 
I did use some trim. It's just some for the edge of doors, basically. And I'll list that, what I use down below. But everything is plugged back in. And so this stuff is just going to push up against that um, inner fender. Right, piece of plastic when I put it back in. But much cleaner look. Now we're going to move to the other side. For the driver's side, there's a couple different things here. So we have the hood cable, and then we have the secondary air injection line. So on this, if you're going to keep the secondary air injection, you're going to have to drill a pretty big hole in order to make that go through. I'm going to put headers on in a later episode, so make sure you guys tune in for that. But I'm going to be taking that completely out. So the only thing I'm going to have to worry about is the hood release. And I've went ahead and pulled this out. All you have to do is unhook this. Um, from your latch and it's just two pieces here you pinch this and pull it out and I went ahead and threaded it out so I'm actually going to drill the hole right let me get some light here there's the hole that mounted one of the mounting nuts the seven millimeter bolts I mean I'm going to drill right above that and that's where I'm going to come through now this hole doesn't have to be as big it just needs to be big enough to get this through. Here's the size hole that I ended up with. So now we're ready to thread that cable back in and it's going to come right through where it was before. The liner's now back in. One of the hardest things you'll ever do is to put these screws back in. And the main reason is because it wants to move around so you're going to need a light to shine to make sure you're lining up the three of those seven millimeters that you took out. Now this is the passenger side and as you can see um, all the wiring is up above. So the inner fender is back in. I took a little time and cleaned. Uh, it's not super great but it's way cleaner than it was. And then I did spray a little bit of paint on the liner itself. Just some flat black paint. So make sure you put all your connections back. Those three seven millimeters and then you've got your threaded insert there. Um, there's another one right here, and then there's another one on the bottom, and then there's two 10 millimeters on the underside of the front here. So make sure you get all those hooked back up, and then I'll show you the other side. This is the driver's side, and so same thing here. Make sure you put your three 7 millimeters that hold, uh, there's three 7 millimeter screws that hold it in, and then your three threaded inserts. Um, on the bottom side there and then there are two of the 10 millimeters in the front side So the other thing I would suggest as you can see you the hood opener uh, Sheath is up above But one thing I suggest before you put it all back together is make sure you test the hood Making sure that everything opens all I did was move it to the bottom side Put it right back through the same spot that it went and hooked it back up. I did test that everything is working properly as you can see, this cleans the fender up quite a bit. You don't have all those wires sitting on top of the fender. Makes it look a lot nicer. Same thing on this side. Now you'll notice that the air pump, the tube that goes to the air pump is not here and I'll address what I did there in a future video. But things look a lot better. I also moved the ground that was here. I moved it to right there. Okay guys, so what do you think? Does it look better? I think it looks a lot better. Is it worth the time? I don't know. To me, it's worth the time to, when you pop your hood. It just You don't have all those ugly wires hanging around. So if you think this is something you'll do, drop a comment down below. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. It takes you maybe, I don't know, a couple hours to do it. Uh, if you take your time and clean everything and do things the right way. But if you guys are watching this for the first time or watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this content, check out some of my other videos. And like I said, I'll post everything that I used. I didn't use a whole lot of product in this video, but I'll post the stuff that I used down below in the description. And thanks for watching.